going on? Conquest. I haven't played Conquest uh, on here yet. Apparently, this is like Conquest, and I'm not a fan of Conquest. I don't like Conquest. You rarely... It's like a battle... It's like the equivalent of playing a battle royale. Like, you run around for 10 minutes, then get a kill, die, run around for 10 minutes. Like, the only time we're ever doing anything is if you go to the one area of the map where the battles, like, where most of the people are fighting, and that's basically it. Like, there's... I don't know, it's, it's, uh, depending, like, maps can make Conquest good, like, sometimes it depends on the map, but a lot of the time, I'm just not a fan of Conquest. All the Battlefield games, never was a fan of it, more of a rush person, uh, with the 2042, I was more of a breakthrough, same thing with Battlefield 5, I was more of a breakthrough person, rush, breakthrough. I guess we'll be able to try here, see what's happening, I don't know, the maps aren't bad, and the maps are a bit smaller than a Battlefield map. That, at least that's how these maps feel like. They feel smaller to an extent. I don't know. Like this map, Cracked, is a bit smaller than a Battlefield map. So I guess we'll have to see what uh, what what happens here. I want to use this M4. This, this K416 has so much kick to it. I've been trying to change the attachments on it, and I can't get a good build. So look, a majority of the fight is going on C2B. Nothing is going on. I guess C1, like A2. I don't know. Like, Conquest is really... Like, it it really is up to map design, you know? Like, you can make any map work on Breakthrough because you're just, like, forcing people to funnel into certain objectives. So, you're, like, people are going to be at certain areas. Whereas, uh, I didn't mean to do that. Whereas, like, Conquest, it's just, just like, if you don't, if the map is just huge and all over the place, then we're, the groups of people are going to be all over the place. But I don't know, this game... I feel like Conquest might be good. I, I saw, like, Jack Frags play, like, two minutes, so I, di I didn't even see him play it. I just kind of saw that Conquest was out, and I'm like, uh, I should, uh, play. And I'm getting a lot of kills here already. Oh my god, we're popping off right off start. Okay, Conquest might be it. Conquest might be the move. I don't think I'm a fan of the, having the bots in the game, because the problem is they play off the bots as real players. Like, you can't tell that they're bots. It's a bit upsetting. I really, really wished that... Like, that looks like a bot. Like, nobody's moving. Like, uh, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, this game has enough players to the point where they don't need to rely on bots uh, to fill lobbies. Maybe they do. Maybe the game has less players than... Like, dude, that guy's just running into a wall. Like, is that a, is that a new player? Is that somebody that just installed the game? Or is that a bot? Like... I've been trying to convince myself that there's no bots in the game. But, uh, the more I see certain players play, the more I'm like, there's no way that it's a real person. Like, even somebody who's not, you know, maybe somebody who's new to the game and just installed it, it still would not have the movement that a bot would. Like, you could just tell where it's like, either the person's on a trackpad or it's a bot, you know? Like, I'm, man, I, I doubt a laptop. You know, this game... They plan on releasing for mobile, so maybe the game will be able to run on a laptop. I don't know how mobile is going to work. I highly doubt the mobile version is going to, like, be cross-play with the PC and console version. I mean, I'm a, I think the game is going to be cross-play. It's supposed to. I need this game to release, to full release on console already. I need the homeboys on console to play this game. Yeah, uh, bad, bad, bro, bad. Like, that has to be a bot. The man kissed me on the lips and ran into me. Oh, jeez. Oof. Like, that's gotta be a bot, the way they're just standing there. Like, dude, the movement is so... I'm, I, I'm kind of, like, I, I talked about this in my last video, I'm like... Half glad they don't say that it's a straight up AI because it's so, like, especially in, in Take 2042. 2042, some of the modes have bots in them, and it straight up just says AI, like, in the name tag. So it's slightly like, uh. Yeah, like, it's just, I guess the best way to put it is, like, upsetting when it's like. 
you go to kill somebody or, and, or you get like three kills and you're like, yeah, I got three nice kills. Then you look in the feed and it's just like, you just killed like three AI and it's like, oh, so it means nothing. Like those kills that I got weren't actually cool. It doesn't mean shit. Useless ass kills. I mean, it's only a couple of modes that are like that and like, you know that like you're playing against AI a lot of the time, but it's still... So like, at least in this, it doesn't just say like, you know, it, like, you know, when I get a kill, it doesn't just say bot AI because then it's like... You know, it's less upsetting, you know, because then it's like, oh, that could have been a real player. It's less like depreciate. What the fuck is the name of it called? There's an actual, I, like, there's a term. It's not upsetting. Like. Ouchies. Ouchies. I think I like Conquest. This might be the first time in my life that I enjoy Conquest more than the Breakthrough Mode. Like, I'm getting way more kills because I'm a I think it's just because I'm able to run around and they're not just coming from- I mean, like, I like Breakthrough. Like, I like the flow of Breakthrough way more just because it's like you know where people are coming from. I mean, I guess this is kind of the same, you know where people are coming from, but... Like, I guess- Oh, it's raining. It sounded like- Dude. I used to have a fish tank in my room, and the sound it would make when, like, the water stopped flowing through the, like, uh, through the filter, through the pump, was, like, a weird, like, chugging sound, and I just heard that sound, but it's the rain outside. Shit, I'm actually getting revives in. Alpha 1, Xing Zhang, Hong Kong, you know. Damn, like, this is really... Like, it's hard to make a map that both works on Breakthrough and Conquest, I guess. Not really. It's like, the problem is, like, if the map works on Conquest, it'll work on Breakthrough. Because Breakthrough is just, like, just funnel. Like, you just have two points at once, and it's like one team attacks, one team's defend. Like, you can make that work on anything. Where it's like, it's way harder to get a map to work on Conquest, I feel like. Because then if the map is too open and too large and like there's too many areas where it's just like barren wasteland or like barren nothingness you know then it's like uh then that's like a whole area where it's like people don't want to be like they really they really the map design's good the map design's good on this game i feel like i could get away with sniping too you know because that's the problem a lot of the time is you have these conquest maps where it's like it's like okay conquest will work here but then it's like would you be i mean you could always get away with sniping on conquest i don't know I don't know. Am I am I even allowed to talk? Have I played enough Battlefield to even talk about map design? I don't make maps. I just play the games. I just play the games. Some people like certain maps, some people don't. I flip-flop on my opinions all the time with stuff. I'll be playing a map and I'm like, if I just have a bad match, I'm like, the map's bad. You know, this 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 mode and this map don't work together. And then I have a match where I'm playing really well and it's like, ooh, this mode and map work really well together. This is ranked, by the way, I had ranked checked. I'm 21 and 6. No, not 6. It doesn't show your deaths until the game ends. I have 21 kills and, like, probably 5 deaths? 2 deaths? I don't know. I haven't really died a lot. I, uh... I don't know. This g 18 is fun to use, too. I love switching off to it, getting, like, a kill or two with it. g 18 is a lot of fun to use in this game. Definitely my favorite weapon. To use to... This is a great close range weapon. Like, look at that. Boom, you just pull out the G18, get that guy. Did I. Did I. Did I. Die. Not a smoky Saturdays because I was gonna smoke before I started recording this and I didn't. I was like, eh, nah, I don't feel like it. Just not really. Waiting for somebody to stop by my house so I could give them something. And, uh, I just didn't feel like smoking. I want to. I want to smoke. My problem is I, I, I usually like, you know, I like to chill. I like to have everything ready. It's like, okay, I want to have a nice little drink, you know. 
Uh, it's early in the day, too. I kind of want to make a video, you know. I don't want to... I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I just recently went to the dispensary. Bought myself... Uh... 3.5 grams of bud. I didn't realize it wasn't pre-cut. They sell, like, pre... You know, grinded bud, and then they sell a normal bud, and I ended up buying the normal. It doesn't matter. It's still 3.5 grams anyway. I have a little bit left. You know, when I buy stuff, I go down and I pick up stuff for my mother, too. You know, that's... People might be like, oh, you're a stoner, and it's like, your mom? And it's like, yeah, you know, mom. She, use, she uses it before bed, you know? People think, you know... You just can't let that type of stuff, you know, like... It can be addictive, you know, I feel like it's like, yeah, marijuana, you know, anything, anything could be considered addictive, you know, if you enjoy it enough, it can be considered, a, anything could be considered like, I don't want to say addictive, but like bad for you, anything could be considered, video games could be bad for you, I'm, I'm probably addicted to video games, I don't want to say addictive, but you know, everything's bad for you, everything can be bad for you, it doesn't, just because it's, and it doesn't even have to be something unhealthy, you know? Like, uh, video games aren't necessarily unhealthy, but, uh, they could definitely be bad for you, you know? They could... You'll have to take over... I mean, look at gacha games. You look at the amount of money people spend on gacha games and stuff for Counter-Strike, you know? Counter-Strike is, like... You know, you, a lot of the most popular YouTubers that are Counter-Strike YouTubers 100% have gambling addictions, you know? Like, I would undoubtedly say Anomaly. Like, a any of those top people i don't know <laughs> i say just not only i don't know it just brings it to mind i mean again it's like probably you know i'm i mean you could say that but it just depends like because you see it's funny because one pixel is always like i don't have a gambling addiction and then it's like it's because he's like oh I, I won't gamble in real life or i don't use you know these websites but it's like it, it, that doesn't mean anything it's like you're still like every time you're you play counter-strike you open a case or whatever it's just like it's like yeah you might not be addicted to like actual gambling because you've never done it but like the game itself is something different you know like you can have somebody who is a gambling addict and goes to the casino every day but hasn't spent a dime on counter-strike and thinks like oh owning skins in a video game is stupid why would i want to gamble on skins when i could gamble for real money in a casino for chips like you know that's the difference it's like it's still an addiction you know, I don't know. I mean, like, obviously, and, you know, he makes money off it, so it's different. You know, it's like, you know, train wrecks or whoever is opening cases. Like, if, as long as it's not, you know, hurting you, uh, like, as long as you're physically, you know, like, there's a, there's a streamer out there who, like, fucking Kiwi Tapes have talked about him. He's a huge gambling addict and fucking throwing away tons and tons of money and owes people money, but, uh, I don't know. It's, uh, again, like, as long as it's not hurting you, like, you know, you could have somebody gamble a million dollars of their own money and they're not a gambling addict because they can afford to throw away a million dollars, uh, worth of money, you know? Just depends. Like, one person gambling a million dollars, that's like, okay, this person's a gambling addict. They need to be stopped. They need to, like, they need help. Another person does it, it's like, oh, that's fine. Like, it just depends on, you know, how it affects your life and if you're able to, uh, I don't know, deal with it. I don't want to say deal with it, but whatever. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what I got into. I'm just, I'm just rambling. I'm rambling as if I just smoked up, but I, I didn't. I'm just, I'm just playing games. I'm like, I'm trying to like, put like, I'm trying to pay attention to the game and get kills and I'm trying to like talk about stuff that should probably be thought about more before I speak on them. <laughs> uh, yeah, addiction is bad, basically. Um, um, addiction is bad, basically. I mean, yeah, smoking weed is bad for you. Crazy. I mean, if you want to have the safest way to, uh, if you want to consume marijuana and be as safe as possible while doing it that safe in air quotations where you're not you know hurting your body or you know inhaling smoke because if you're smoking it you're inhaling smoke it doesn't matter what it is if you're inhaling smoke you're inhaling smoke your body is not meant to be inhaling smoke it is bad for you like it, it doesn't matter what it is uh a way around that is to simply just you know one uh use 
you know, uh, if you're smoking with papers, like butt and stuff, you know, you use papers that are more natural, doesn't have additives and stuff in them, and, you know, uh, whatever, you know, try to, you know, leave as less bad stuff, I guess, you know, try to minimize how much bad stuff along with the smoke you take in your body. You know, you do, it's like smoking a cigarette. It's like, oh, they put black tar in cigarettes, and uh, maybe... Maybe we, uh, make our own homemade cigarettes, because that's the thing, it's like, you know, you can make your own cigarettes at home, I know my grandfather used to do that, and, uh, because it was just healthier, he just bought the tobacco in a bag, and he had a machine, and he, like, cranked it, and he would make his own cigarettes, and, you know, it's cheaper and better than buying them at the store, you know, it's like, you're still smoking a cigarette, uh, but it's, you know, you're not getting all the bad shit that they add in them, that these, you know, but yeah, I, uh, Let's see how good I did. Let's see the KD. Where's the KD? 39 and 10. Oh my god, that is so much better than any... I mean, Breakthrough, I still dropped a few nice ones. But, uh... I forgot. I lost my train of thought. I don't know. Uh, the safest way to ingest marijuana is to take edibles. Edibles. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think edibles because uh, you're not inhaling smoke. And it's all done by your stomach. So, like, you just... Uh, maybe it'll come out years from now that it turns out that eating THC or I don't I don't think it's THC or whatever they extract maybe you know eating it isn't good for you and it's actually you know just as bad as smoking it I doubt it I haven't seen anything about it yet uh, I mean I haven't really looked into it myself but uh, if you if you want to the problem is that eating it is completely different than smoking it like smoking it you're gonna get you know that high within. A couple minutes you know within a minute or two after smoking and that high is gonna last you know you could really even it out too into portions like you take a smaller hit you know and it's like an instant i don't want to say an instant high but it's relatively like quickly like it's going to be way quicker whereas you know eating an edible it yeah your body has to digest it and it takes a while for it to hit it takes a minute so like that's the problem that people have you see a lot of stories where it's like i I took half an edible and didn't feel anything immediately, so I took another half. And it's crazy that people still do that. It's crazy that people will still fall for the... I don't want to even want to say trick, but fall for the, oh, it didn't work immediately. Like, every, I feel like at, in, in this day and age, everybody knows that an edible takes a long time to kick in. Like, it takes like an hour for an edible to kick in because your body has to digest it. I could put on a dog tag. What the hell is all this? How do you get how do you get profile pictures? I don't understand that. Hey, skibbity toilet. I'm done. I'm done. I'll see you in the next one, boys. Hello, really quickly, because I didn't say it in the video, is that I'm trying to go for top 100 in ranked for Delta Force Hawk Ops. I didn't I didn't say that in the video, or maybe I didn't. I cut it out because I rambled on at the end there. But uh yeah, trying to go for top 100. I might be, I'm not going to get number one, but I feel like I might be able to get close to like the top 100, like 100 spot or something like that. So I'm going to be trying that. So if you, if you want to watch me stream it, let me know. I probably won't stream it, to be honest, because nobody's going to watch it. But that's what I'm trying to do. And it's, it's fun. It's kind of fun. So that's just, I just want to put that in there.